This video will show you the steps to solve the test of normality Kolmogorov-Smirnov by using SPSS version 19. Okay, let's look at the example. A researcher reported that the total time per week in hours for 30 college students spend their time on surfing internet are shown as below. Use Kolmogorov-Smirnov 1 sample to test the null hypothesis that this data came from a normally distributed population. And then we go to the hypothesis. H null state that the sample population is normally distributed. And H1 state that the sample population is not normally distributed. Our claim is at H null. And then now we go to the SPSS window. Okay, now we have the SPSS windows. In the data view, we key in all the data until 30 data. And then we make sure that these data are in ordinal scale. And then we click analyze, descriptive statistic, and then explore. Okay. Now we choose the variable time and move it into dependent list box and then we click plots. We choose none for box plots and we choose histogram for descriptive and then we click normality plots with test and then click continue and then we click OK. Wait for the output. Okay, in the output windows. We have descriptive table, test of normality table, and then histogram. Let's look at the descriptive table. We have skewness and kurtosis value. To determine this data are normally distributed, we check by looking the skewness and kurtosis value. If these two values are approximate to zero, we can say that these data are normally distributed. So from our result that we got, skewness is 0 0.065, which is approximate to zero. And then kurtosis also we have negative 0 0.9, which is also approximate to zero. So from this result, we can say that these data are normally distributed. Okay, let's look at the second table, which is test of normality. In the Kolmogorov-Smirnov column, we look at the statistic, degrees of freedom, and significant value. Let's look at the significant value. Okay. To make sure that this data are normally distributed, so the significant value must greater than 0 0.05. From this result, we got 0 0.2. So, we can say that this data are normally distributed because of the significant value which is 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.05. So, we can say that this data are normally distributed. And then we go to the histogram. Histogram, we have time at the x-axis and frequency at the y-axis. From this histogram, we can see the, the histogram shows the bell-shaped curve. So from this result, this shows that this data are normally distributed and we do not reject H null. Thank you.